Hi Cancer and welcome to your Love Tarot Forecast. This is for July 16th through July 31st, 2019. I'm going to start your reading off by pulling a few cards here and seeing what the overall story and energy is for you guys. And this is for a single couple um, or just dating with no commitment and I'll kind of break those out as well as I go through. All right Cancer, let's see. Okay, so we have Love Yourself, we have Soul Searching, and we have Second Chances. Okay, so Cancer, what I see here, um, regardless of your situation, um, this is where we've had some complications, okay? And we haven't been getting along, maybe haven't been seeing eye to eye. There's something here because with love yourself and soul searching and then second chances, it's kind of like something has happened and we need some time to really think about it and evaluate it on both sides. And then ultimately we decide to work it out or have a second chance, okay? And for those of you single, this could be somebody that you, you know, like had a date with before or a misconnection with or something like that. You have, you know, this person coming back in saying, hey, Cancer, I would like another chance with you. Okay, those of you who are kind of dating somebody without a commitment, this could be where, you know, something happened, somebody screwed up and it really upset the other one and, you know, a little bit of time has passed and now over these next two weeks, you guys are coming back together for um, a second chance, okay? Those of you who are committed, um, what I feel is something may have happened where it really, you know, threatened the relationship, um, threatened the connection, or, and now you guys are deciding to, you know, overcome that and put it in the past and mend your love and your relationship, okay? Or this could be where um, you guys have been separated by distance, you know, in different states, different countries for work, for military, you know, maybe some of you have a, a loved one, your partner is in jail or something like that. This could be where we're separated in distance and now these next two weeks of July, there you guys are coming back together in union, um, you know, because maybe somebody's tour is over or somebody's getting out of jail or you guys have set a time to visit if you live in separate states, same, something like that, okay, for those who are committed. Now, um, overall, Cancer, what I'm seeing here is whatever happened, whether single, dating, or committed, it like really affected you emotionally, all right, with love yourself and soul searching. And um, I feel like you've had to do a lot of thinking and evaluating, is this person worth it? Is our relationship worth it? You know, things like that. Now, um, as like specifics, this is the card that I'm representing for singles, love yourself. So listen, singles, those of you who have really been struggling with um, romance and romantic connections, Spirit is saying it's time to really start falling in love with yourself the way that you fall in love with another person or the way that you are in love with the idea of love. Spirit says fall in love with yourself like that first and watch what happens because with this, some of you might be a little bit too accommodating and self-sacrificing, you know, trying to be a, a good partner to somebody and Spirit is saying it's time for you to pull back and start loving yourself and giving yourself the same sort of attention and dedication you would give to a romance um, and fill yourself back up so that your vibration changes and you attract a partner who is going to fall in love with you the way you have fallen in love with you, okay? Those of you who are just dating um, somebody with no real commitment going on, with soul searching, it's a very similar message for the singles. It's like, um, I feel like there's things you're tolerating and putting up with that you shouldn't and that you don't have to, but you might not have a full awareness of it. And over these next two weeks is a really good time to do a lot of soul searching and ask Spirit to show you, you know, who is really on your side, who really loves you, and who's just playing games with you um, romantically, okay? it's There's an element of soul searching and soul growth for those of you who are just kind of dating and no commitment. And I feel like Spirit's leading you back to yourself to fall in love with yourself as well as the total singles, okay? And 
Um, this card here represents the committed cancers out there and you know second chances speaks for itself so if you um, you know broke up or if you're divorced and you separated you know you guys are coming back together these last two weeks of July or if there was no physical separation um, you guys are overcoming or working out you know any troubles that you have been dealing with and really deciding to give the relationship a true chance okay so for committed it's like you guys are you know really working as a team loving each other um, wanting the same things all right so let's pull some more um, let's pull some guys and see what comes out all right so we have the world yeah, some of you are definitely separated by distance, and that's all this is about, and you just really miss each other. But listen, while you guys are in separation, it is very important, Cancer, that you do work on loving yourself and do some soul searching, because as you grow and expand spiritually, your vibration elevates and lifts, and that only, you know, brings you guys closer together. And next out, look at this, we have the Four of Swords. So yeah, some of you are definitely separated um, by distance from your partner. Next out, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and lastly, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, so biggest message overall I'm feeling is the distance and distance and separation um, for cancer, whether you guys are together with somebody or you're not, all right? Because even if you live with somebody, if you've had like a lot of heartaches and challenges, you guys could feel a million miles away just lying right next to each other, right? And some of you, this is like literal physical distance. And um, listen, those of you who are broken up or separated from somebody, right now is truly a time of like self-discovery. That's part of your life journey. That's part of your path. That's part of the agreement that you have in this romantic contract with this other person is right now you guys will be distant or outright separated because you both need some soul searching and soul growth. Okay. I feel like for you, Cancer, it's about um, coming into unconditional love for yourself and healing some wounds. And for this other person, I feel like, um, you know, it could be the same thing. They could have some um, self-love issues and therefore they don't treat you properly, okay? They have some healing and soul searching to do as well. But... I feel ultimately if you take the advice and you focus on yourself and really fall in love with yourself, like you guys come back together in a union, in a second chance with each other, okay? But with the world here, it's like you've got to complete this cycle of this separation or distance on your own and you both have... Um, you know, a certain element in which you need to grow and expand into before you come back together, okay? Or if there's no physical separation, it's like you need to really focus on this self-love and soul-searching so that you both can grow and come back together in the relationship itself, okay? Um, some of you who have been separated for some time, this might be these next two weeks where you guys are finally coming back together, okay? Because we do have the Knight of Pentacles right here. But um, overall, Cancer, it's like loving yourself and really digging deep down um, and discovering your own soul deeper than ever before is like what changes everything um, in, you know, a relationship that's going to reconcile or even a new relationship that may be on the horizon for you, okay? Because I don't really see that energy in this reading um, with the singles being love yourself and, um, you know, the dating but no commitment coming through is soul searching. I don't have any aces, nothing like that. So I don't feel like this next two weeks is a period of meeting anybody new. If anything, this is like working on yourself to heal, to reconcile an, an existing relationship, okay? Or it's working on yourself and healing so that you can finally expand in your vibration and open yourself up to some new romances that are actually really good and healthy for you, okay? So let's pull some more cards. But anybody where there's, you know, you're reconciling, um, I feel like you both have had a lot of growth, okay, during your time apart with um, the dice that have come out.
All right, on one side we have true man, emotionally mature and wholeheartedly devoted. And on the other side, we have satisfied, passionate lovers. Okay, so this right here, Cancer, it tells me, that, you know, the energies that are existing between you and this other person coming through this relationship, okay? Um, regardless of what's happened, you know, with passionate lovers and satisfied, there is this lovely connection and you, there's, I would say, no better lover for either of you than each other, okay? Um, but with the true man, emotionally mature and wholeheartedly devoted, um, I feel like one or both of you are rising into this energy. And even if you were somebody who was committed and devoted to the relationship, there was an element of um, lack of self-love and, and lack of self-worth taking place, okay? And with true man, there is equal love for self as for partner. This is somebody who is very emotionally balanced and stable, okay? And this to me, Cancer, the second chance, this is the energy you both um, are going to be when you come back together, whether it's happening over these next two weeks or it takes longer than that. That This is what you both are growing into to come back together because there is no other relationship that satisfies either one of you as much. Those of you who are committed, um, you know, to me, this here is this is the same thing like we have some healing to do some growing to do to come into this energy but once there like there's no stopping this connection or this relationship and those of you where it's like time not time i'm sorry distance that separates when you guys come back together um it's just very stable and steady and strong okay so let's pull some more cards All right, so we have closed, greedy, selfish. This to me is where that soul searching has to come into play and or healing from somebody, you know, not being very fair in this connection previously. Next out, look at this, bringer of thoughts, apology or facts and truth revealed. That's very promising, Cancer. Next out is Feminine Flame, Awakened, Elevated Yin. I like that because we have True Man and then Feminine Flame. So to me, this is like a mirroring of how you both are elevating, growing, and expanding. And look at this. Three of Emotions, Celebration, Date, Good Times. Nice. Cancer. Um, yeah. Listen. Those of you who are not coming together or reconciling in these the second two weeks of July, do not lose heart, okay? Because I feel like, you know, you all are at different processes or at different points along this process. And so, um, ultimately, those of you who are not quite reconciling, it's because you have more of this to do, okay? You're working on this area of yourself for this second chance, for reconciliation. And I see that reiterated here as well, okay? Um, those of you where... We're either working it out or we're coming back together these next two weeks. There is a lot of happiness. There is a lot of shifting to that energy because soul searching will have taken place prior to this. Okay. And apology or truth and facts revealed. This to me is just where we're having a good conversation. It's totally honest. We're both being vulnerable and we're both being very mature, emotionally mature about you know, the exchange of information taking place, okay? So those of you, um, I, I really feel like this is either existing connections and you're finally having a breakthrough over these next two weeks, or these are relationships that are separated by distance or just completely broken up and um, you're either in the process of bettering yourselves to come back together or you're finally coming back together over these next two weeks, Cancer, okay? And those of you who are coming back together, I just feel like you've been on a long journey and you both have grown and expanded quite a bit, okay? So Cancer, those are your messages. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.